Hey guys, uh, here's the super gun how it looks now. It's fully completed. So let me just go through the um, th go through what I've done here. Uh, last time I had some old sticks on here, so I put in new, some new competition sticks. And uh, as you can see, player two has a new one. New sand, uh, not sand wall, half buttons on both sides. Uh, the decal for some reason rubbed off on the one player, but uh, the second player is just fine, as you can see. Uh, I put in new buttons here for the coins. This is coin one, this is coin two. Um, I think this is menu, and this one's your, your test. Same layout for the speaker. I also put in new locks so I can keep this thing shut. As you can see I put in a brand new overlay on it. I'm trying to match it as much as I could from the old overlay. It, it's, it's a little off but you can't you, you, know, you can't really tell. This is a little darker than this part but uh, it's it's fine. It's not that bad. I also put in this uh, T-molding on here, here, and also here. I'll lift this up. I'm going to see if I can show you what else I've done here. Let me turn on some light here. Hold on. Yeah, it's not going to let me. Uh, you can't tell. But uh, if you can see here, there's some legs. I put in some brand new rubber legs on this thing. So it can be nice and stable and won't be rubbing the uh, T molding. And what else? Let's see here. I think that's it for here. Oh yeah, putting these handles. I showed you on, a, on the old video. I put in this hand, handle. I put another one here, so you can lift it. It's pretty heavy. It's about, I would say, about 20 to 30 pounds. Not that bad, but it does it does have some weight to it. Uh, also, as you can tell, I put I put a sleeve over the um, the cabling, so it won't be us uh, won't be snagging on the uh, when I close it and stuff. And. Uh, let me show you the back. As you can see, it's uh, running off uh, VGA. I'm putting this this nice little mounting. Uh, what do you call it? This nice little bracket. I guess you could call it a bracket. No, it's a it's a uh, faceplate. Putting this nice little faceplate of uh, VGA on it. As you can see there. As you, and if you remember from the old video, I got a plug here. Uh, I had a filter on it, and then I removed it because I thought that was the problem. And um, but no, it wasn't. The, it wasn't that. Hold on, TV's on for some reason. And um, no, the problem wasn't that. I already went through the whole, the the reason why it wasn't that on the last video. But uh, because of that, I had to remove the filter. But I bought a new filter, put in the plug. Now I won't have any problems if there is a if there is a. I would call it a short or anything like that. And let me go through the innards here. It's been rewired twice already because um, I had to remove everything so I can get the um, I can get the overlay on and all this other. I had to do a bunch of things because I didn't like I didn't like how it I was coming out. So I redid it. I already put, I put another sleeve here. If you if you saw my old video, I think I had the sleeve on this. But as you can tell, I put this sleeve on here. It looks really nice. I took out the counters because the counters weren't even working. So it's not. It's it's sad, but I really didn't need it. This is the wall X to the uh, video. As you can tell, it can be taken off and be put on. Uh, put on other devices like uh, my other monitor that's in the it's in the theater room. This was running straight to this board here. This is a CGA to VGA um, board. As you can see, it runs really well. It's running, uh, I think it's just 5 volts. So I'm running it off the, the power supply. Power supply runs really well. It tells you the 5 volt uh, reading, like I said in the previous videos. And you can see here, this is the uh, VGA cable. Here's the other handle. And this is the uh, the brace that I put on it, so I can hold it up. It came out really cool. Everything worked out very well in this in this um, this project I did. Um, I don't have any problems with it. Um, it's very customizable, which I needed to be. 
like with the uh, the video and um, I think that's about it. I don't need that much customization. Oh yeah, the five volts. The five volts is very very uh, it's very picky on some boards, but um, thanks to that, thanks to this little reading thingy and this and the adjustment, I I don't have any problems with that. Uh, well, now let me just show you how it runs. Hold on one second. I have here uh, Mortal Kombat 4. Uh, I think you've seen it on previous videos, like I said. But uh, let me show you on 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 this screen over here. It's my Vizio. Let's see if I can. Uh, here we go. Let me see here. Let's go to RGB, which is basically VGA. It's the same thing. And uh, let's turn it on. Plug it in. Turn it on. There's the um, board, the um, CGA to VGA board turning on. And it should pick up the, uh, there it is. Let me skip the uh, testing, here. testing here. Hopefully I can skip it. There it is. Uh, the fan is not helping, I know that. There's a there's hard, hardcore glare there, but it's, it's um, you can see. Thousands of years ago, in a battle with the fallen elder god known as Shinada, I was responsible for the death of an entire civilization. Put some coins in. Outstanding. Outstanding. <laughs> All these buttons work here. They're just off. Gotta fix that later, but that's no problem. But everything, as you can see, works. This project has been in the making for a long time, and it's finally done. Um, as you can see, it's, it's it was a it was a it turned out very well. It turned out insanely well. Um, anyway, if you have any questions, just let me know. Um, that's it. Bye.